Have you ever been accused of not having the guts to do something? Or heard of someone having a gut feeling about something? Well, these are commonly used phrases. But do you know what guts are? Biologically speaking, guts refer to your intestines, which begin at the end of the stomach and go on till the anus. The food from the stomach enters into the small intestine, which is a long coil tube about 7.5 meters in length. Although called the small intestine, it's actually longer than the large intestine. The liver is a reddish brown gland located in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. It secretes bile juice, which is stored in the gallbladder and which helps digest fats. The pancreas is a cream colored gland located just below the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice which has enzymes that break down fat, proteins and carbohydrates into simpler forms. The juices from the liver and pancreas are poured out into the first part of the small intestine, a part called the duodenum. These juices break the food into an even simpler form, which then reaches the lower part of the small intestine or the ileum. This part produces enzymes that complete the digestion of food. This means that here the carbohydrates get broken down into glucose, fats into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins into amino acids. The walls of the intestines has thousands of finger-like outgrowths called villi where the digested food gets taken in into the blood. This process is called absorption. The absorbed substances are then transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body. Inside the various organs, these simple substances are used in different ways. Amino acids are used to build proteins, glucose is broken down to give energy. This process, in which the digested food molecules are used by the body, is called assimilation. Although most of the food gets digested and absorbed, some food remains undigested. This undigested part of the food is sent to the large intestine. The large intestine is called that because it is broader than a small intestine. It absorbs the last traces of water and some salts and the remaining waste matter is stored in the last part of the large intestine, the rectum. The waste is then thrown out as feces from the anus in a process called ejection. Food items like rice, chapatis, meat and fish take longer to digest than fruits and vegetables which are high in fiber. Can you guess which foods get digested quickly? Processed food, junk food, particularly those with sugar like candy bars get digested in a short time, leaving you feeling hungry again. Now you know why these foods aren't good for you. We tend to overeat them.